Okay, so on this one, let me bring the question up here where we can see it easily. They want the number of elements in A overlap B complement. So let's write that out. So it's the number of elements in the overlap, right? That's the U turned over. The overlap of elements in common to A to uh, uh, common, let me make this more clear, in common to bow, A and the opposite of B, right? The complement of B. So that's what they're saying. The number of elements in the overlap, so that means in common to both A and the opposite of B. B complement, the opposite of B. B complement. Okay, so what is that? How many are in A and the opposite of B? Well, Maybe it'd be helpful to find those that are in the opposite of B. So opposite, or I'll say outside of B. So that would be the 13, the eight, and the five, right? Those are the ones that are outside of B, that are the complement of B, right? That's B complement. Good to there so far. So that's B complement. And then here's circle A. So if this is circle A, what's in common? to A and the opposite of B. 13, eight. Exactly, everybody seeing that's the 13 and the eight, isn't it? Right, exactly, so let me, let me highlight this with a little scribbly circle so we can see it really clear. So there's A, so what's in common is this guy and this guy. So 13 plus 8, which is 21. So the number in common to A and outside of B, the opposite of B, is the 13 and the 8. So that's going to be 21. There we go.